Tony Curry. Guarded by Christy Tolliver. Nearly stolen. Jane gets it back. McBride run off that three-point line and hits the baseline, too. And you know, that 18-foot that baseline jumper, she's going she's gonna to knock down nine times out of ten. And it's because of that threat beyond the arc, right, teams? McBride on the wing. Curls. And both buckets belong to Kayla McBride. And this is the, the defensive player of the year last year in college and arguably one of the best defensive players to come out of the University of Connecticut. What I thought, Andrew, was really impressive about the game against Chicago was that that should give this team a little bit more confidence offensively. They're well above 50 here to start tonight. Kayla McBride, double team on the wing. High low for Alexander, and Kayla hits. You learn exactly what Dan Hughes expected out of her each and every game, and, and that was indeed a, a tough process at times. Colson with a steal on the pass intended for Carson. Montgomery pitches across. McBride for three. Five quick ones for the Stars. The two free throws by Peters. Mariah Jefferson back in. Jana Palmarinelli back door for Kayla McBride. She has 11. Does K-Mac double figures in every game so far. Nice seven. She averaged 11 points. She shot it above 70% from beyond the arc against the Sparks while with the Mercury. Jefferson. Kick to McBride. Catch and shoot. We are tied. 14 for McBride. Watch Kayla run her defender around the screen there. She loses the lead of and there's a great job by Jana Pell coming out to the elbow. The only season she didn't make it was 2008. Going back to 05 with her years in Washington. McBride scoops that in. 16 now for K-Mac. Got a higher percentage shot off. McBride steps inside the arc and buries the jump. Brief time in the WNBA, and, and I think just continues to build on what's been already an excellent season for her. She tied this game at 54 as K-Mac hits in a timeout quickly. 